With 15.2, the DevExpress dashboard allows you to add a new scatter chart dashboard item to the dashboard. The scatter chart provides the capability to visualize summaries using two axes simultaneously as opposed to the standard chart dashboard item. Our dashboard is already connected to the SQL database containing sales data. To add the scatter chart, click the corresponding button in the ribbon. Drag and drop the sales field to the x-axis and the margin field to the y-axis. Change the summary type of margin to average and set its format type to percent. Note that the scatter chart now displays a single data point corresponding to grand total values of the sales and margin data items. Add the category field to arguments to visualize summaries for individual categories. The scatter chart also allows you to communicate the value of the third measure using data point size. To do this, drop the profit field to the weight placeholder. You can now see that the tooltip displays three measure values for each point. Now let's add another argument. Drag and drop subcategory to arguments. The scatter chart will create data points for all combinations of available categories and subcategories. To distinguish points corresponding to different categories, click the Categories menu button and select Color by Hue. Points corresponding to different categories will be painted in different colors. The legend in the top right corner shows colors corresponding to categories. Like other data bound dashboard items, the scatter chart allows you to use various data shaping operations. Click the subcategory menu button, select top in, and enable the checkbox. Specify count, select the profit measure, and click apply. The scatter chart will display points corresponding to the top 10 subcategories. To filter the scatter chart, right click it and edit filter. In the filter editor, specify the required filter criteria and click apply. The scatter chart will display points corresponding to the selected category. To clear filtering, use the corresponding menu item. Now let's add some interactivity to our scatter chart. Go to the Data tab and enable Drill Down. You can click the required category to see the detailed data for corresponding subcategories. Use the Drill Up button to move to the parent level. To show master filtering capabilities of the scatter chart, add the grid dashboard item and bind it to the category, subcategory, and sales fields. Then, enable cell merging. Switch to the scatter chart, go to the data tab, and enable multiple master filter. You can now select points corresponding to the required category to see the related data in the grid. If necessary, you can drill down to detailed data to perform filtering by subcategories. The scatter chart also allows you to customize different visualization options. Go to the Design tab and click X-axis Settings. In the Invoked dialog, you can specify various axis settings such as visibility of grid lines and axis visibility. You can also change the axis title. Click OK. Click the Point Labels button to manage data labels displayed next to data points. By default, argument values are displayed. Let's show argument and weight values within data labels. As for the chart dashboard item, you can change the legend position. Finally, you can manage coloring of the scatter chart data points using buttons in the coloring group. For instance, click edit colors to use the other color for the technology category. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.